Welcome to another episode. This episode will be different from others. You know that a lot of new models dropped recently, especially for WAN 2.2 has now 14B parameters. This episode, I will show you how to generate hyper-realistic images with WAN 2.2. Although it is new model, with the help of the LoRa's and understanding the structure, we are able to generate those images. Time to see the workflow. A little complex looking workflow is waiting for us. First, I have this note links for all models. You should download each one of them carefully. I am using Q6 quantized. You can use different, but first test it with this. We have low noise here and bunch of LoRa's. Each one of them has different effects. Upside, we have high noise and another LoRa. Prompt positive is where you should put your prompt. Make sure long and detailed. Prompt negative is related keywords for WAN. And our sampler, Clown Shark, we have a bunch of parameters here. When you put the workflow, all nodes will be red, and you should download res for life for manager. I don't recommend changing these parameters and even the steps, except the second sampler's ADA. I wrote, it is effect on notes. If you lower it, you will get more realistic image, but more mistaken image as a result. ADA is changing the noise amount on the sampler but also adjust the effect of the LoRa and the model at the same time. Here is our first output image. It looks realistic, but not that much. We will fix it even more. You see, we have no background blur problem or weird artifacts except the text. So on the right side, we have two upscalers. Realism Fix and LoRa Upscaler. We will use Realism Fix to make image more realistic. LoRa Upscaler is also option. It makes less realistic, more AI look. For the realism fix, we use low noise model and latent upscale with 050 denoise. You can adjust the denoise to lower for more consistent, but you must increase the steps at the same time to get less noisy image. You know the correlation between them from previous episodes. I also wrote it on the notes as a guider. So it makes more realistic, less mistakes. Note that for close human portrait image, it cannot be the best option to use it so you should play with the values for your target image. I put general values, but it is depending for your target as you know. Downside, we have LoRa Upscaler. An important warning, you shouldn't use it on human images because it generates the familiar face with different seed. This is the characteristic of the model. LoRa has more dominance for low noise model. For the other type of images, you can use it as an upscaler. It has same logic, but more prompt follower than the realism fix sampler and makes image same style as input. So it will result more AI look. Now I have also one more version of this workflow, the V2. First, you enter Civit AI or Patreon and download it. After that, you will see workflow like this. It is only using low noise model and it has more freedom to make AI type concept images. I use patch sage attention. If you have problem, just remove or disable it. After that, you put your prompt and run it. It is making more AI-like image, unlike V3. So both of them complete each other for many concept image generation. If you want to play with the settings, I only recommend play with the second sampler's denoise. Make it lower or higher for different results. It is latent upscaling the image to make it better. Here, some outputs for different concepts of art with this workflow. As you can see, it is very successful, sometimes can ruin texts. I would be happy if you contribute with sharing images you made on Civit AI. Down there, I put sharpener. You can disable or remove it. It makes image more sharp. So this is it for both of the important workflows. Time to talk some about news. Quen image has dropped and it has very interesting features. Image editing and text capability is impressive. We have also Flux Crea Dev, which is fast, but we should consider the AI look. So WAN 2.2 is very good at amateur photo. Others are good at different things. Next video, I will be testing these new models with new workflows. See it if we can make them better use. Looks like Flux Dev is going to be history soon. Do not forget to check my Civit AI for more updates on this workflow itself. I am still improving it to be better. Also, some users said that Mac has problem with this samplers, so if you are using Mac, you can get problem about the sampler. For many users, it is not problematic. Hope to see you on the next one.